right, we're ready to kick off the Wicked Winter Tour. I got one question for you, Woodsocket. Are you ready to get showcased? He's asleep. Maybe he didn't come to me. Is he in the bathroom? when I can bring good news to the fans of Showcase Pro Wrestling. And back in Taunton, Massachusetts in December, team number one lost the tag team championship to the stacked deck. They were robbed! Now, you know, you know I'm no fan of team number one and never have been. No, number two. And since you guys won the tag team championship under maybe less than favorable circumstances. You have been running roughshod over Showcase Pro Wrestling. More times than not, I would say team number one got lucky. But, despite the fact that you held the tag team championship for some 13 and a half months. World record. All right, that does make you the second longest reigning tag team champions. But it still brings me great joy to know that we have tag team champions that will actually go out and defend the belts with a little bit of dignity and honor. Not that team number one never did, oh no. Because I know that both of you would cheat like heck in the corner. And I know that when you were in the ring, Richie was always ready to jump right in and help you out. Because that's what tag teams do. They help each other up. And maybe when Richie was getting pinned in the ring, you would go out of your way to distract the referee so that the ref wasn't counting that pin. Now, if anybody wants to correct me if I'm wrong on any of these facts, but no, that's it's fine. It's brains. But I think, Mr. Candido, that the stack deck may have been just one step ahead of team number one last month. I understand everything you're saying, and all these people want to have fun, and yes, we lost the tag team titles. We lost to the stack deck. The stack deck beat team number one. Congratulations, stack deck. Give them a round of applause. It because team number one held those titles for, like you said, 13 months. And whether you agree or not, we beat every single damn team that was put in front of us. 
If you don't like the way it was done, that's one thing. But you bet your ass we beat all those teams. And I think team number one deserves a little bit of credit for doing that. Yeah! <laughs> now these people might not like us, you might not like us, that's fine. But what we do is we come to the ring to be successful. We come to the ring to win. And that's what we do. Time in and time out. So for 13 months, we won. So I'm not holding my head low for anything. I'm walking around with my head high. Team number one was some pretty damn good tag team champions. Yeah! No! I, I want you two to fight it out, all right? He's no, no. One, you're everybody else. I'll lose. Go. I'm on the stack deck side. Now listen, here's one thing that I got to tell everybody here. I had a talk with Rich. Team number one going forward is no more. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Now me and Rich, we were tag champions. We were pretty damn good tag champions. But I told Rich one thing. For the past three years now, whether it was the tag team titles or whether it was the heavyweight title, I was on top. Now, I've lost those titles. I gotta fight my way back up to the top. So if I'm gonna do that, I want to do it on my own. So superstar Sean Candido from this moment forward is getting back to the top on his own. Well, yeah. That is a little bit of a startling news, Mr. Candido. I don't think I've ever broken up a tag team personally just because I lost the tag title. I can understand your concern that maybe when you were the second longest reigning heavyweight champion in Showcase Pro Wrestling history, and then you would be the second rate longest reigning tag team champions in Showcase Pro Wrestling history, that maybe you would still consider keeping Richie Rich, who has been a WWE superstar, He's been all around the world. He's been Florida State Champion three times. Mississippi State Tag Team Champion twice. He's been a Showcase Pro Wrestling Tag Team Champion with you. And just because you lose a title in the ring, you just kick them to the curb. You know, I can understand some of the concern but I'm not sure that maybe it's the smartest move for team number one right now. I know everything that Rich has accomplished because half of it over the past three years was right by my side. I'm not kicking him to the curb. Rich is going to have a career one way or another, however he wants. And I'm pretty sure he wishes he was in Florida right now instead of getting hit by Diaz. But that's another story for another time. So anyway, Rich can do what he wants. There's no ill will between us. He's going to go his way. I'm going mine. And like I said, one way or another, my way goes straight to the top. Whether these people like me or not, I understand that. You pay your money, you cheer, you boo for whoever the hell you want. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to fight my way to the top, and I'm going to do it on my own. Yeah! And ladies and gentlemen, Superstar Sean Candido.